hello everyone welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is juliet so in this video i will be making a simple top here i have my fabric i folded it into two using the width of the ankara and then i fold it again to get the length of my top which is 28 inches so 28 inches plus one making it 29 which is what we have for the length and then for the wideness, it is the wideness of Ankara, I think it's by 45, folded into two, that was about, that would be about 20 something inches. So, now we have two pieces folded into two for both front and back. Here I marked three inches at this end and then I came down by one inch. At the open end and I'm going to connect that in a slant to form the shoulder slope next off this is the shoulder I'm working with divided by two and then from that point I marked the sleeve length I am working with Next off, on this open end, I'm going to mark the sleeve opening I'm working with, which is um, 17 and divided by 2 is 8.5, so plus 1 inch of allowance, making it 9.5, which is what I marked there. Then I'm marking the same measurement I have up there on the same 9.5 inches point. On this down part, I'm marking the hip measurement I'm working with divided by 4. Plus one inch is and two inches of seam allowance. So coming up here, I'm marking the same thing: quarter of the hip measurement plus one inch of ease and two inch of uh, two inches of allowance. So now the nine inches point, which is the sleeve opening, I connected the lines like so, and then I'm marking the same quarter of the hip measurement plus one inch ease and another two inches for seam allowance so connecting the lines together I'm going to make a curve like so to join the sleeve side so next up I'll be cutting the neck so for the neck I use three inches for the width and then four inches for the length for the front neck so the front neck is three inches wide and four inches long I'm going to curve that out and then I'm marking the back neck which is one inch or one and a half will be fine so next off I'm cutting the back neckline first Then I open the upper piece and cut out the front neckline only on the upper piece, as you can see. Next off, I'm cutting out the sides. Now for what is remaining for the sleeve length, I'm going to just fold it in. And that is what we are going to use to hem that place. You can cut it out and just fold it in. But if you're doing that, you add one inch of allowance for folding it. So I'm going to notch that point. That is the point where I'm going to fold in. And you will see in a minute. So next I'm cutting the facing for the necklines here is the back neckline I folded a piece of fabric into two and then I placed the folded edge of the back piece on the folded edge of that piece of fabric I'm tracing out the neckline as you can see now so the shoulder point had about two and a half inches extra I'm measuring the same two and a half inches on this side of the facing and then I connected it to that side 
So I'm going to cut that out. That will be the facing for the back piece. Now to cut the facing for the front piece, I folded the piece of fabric again into two. And I'm going to be matching the folded edges of the front piece to the folded edge of this facing piece. After which I will trace out the neckline and then a bit of the shoulder about two and a half inches. Then the front the front piece is going to have an opening of about four inches. So I'm going to mark that four inches and then mark another two inches from that point down and then connect to the shoulder the two inches on the shoulder, like two and a half inches on the shoulder rather. And then I'm cutting it out. So the next step is to take the facings to the machine and fold them in once, fold them to the wrong side one time and sew them down for both the front and the back. After which I will place them right sides together on the neckline and then sew like this. This is the front piece. I'll sew, come down to that 4 inches point. Go back up and then complete the neckline using half of an inch. For the back piece as well, I'll fold it down in and then pin it to the neckline and sew using half of an inch round like that. Next off, I am going to add pockets to the side of the the sides of the top. So I'm measuring ten inches long 10 inches wide i measure 10 by 10 or there about the pocket it depends on, it depends on how um wide or how long you want it to be so i think 10 by 10 is fine for me so i'm folding in just half inch on both sides on all the corners all the sides So I place the second pocket piece on the first one, that way I will get exactly the same size for both pockets. So I take the pockets to the machine as well and sew down one end like so and then sew down another on the other piece too next up i have black fabric here that i'm going to use to form a design on the front of the top so i measured 10 inches wide and about 12 inches long I'm just going to fold this in half inch on all the sides and then set it aside for now. So after sewing the facings to the necklines, I turned them to the wrong side and iron. So next I'm using hemming gum to glue them down. And then on the sleeve part as well, I folded in that excess we 
left at the edge and I'm going to be ironing those down with the hemming gum. So because it's the edge of Ankara I have on the inside, that is why I am ironing it down like that. If you had raw edges, you have to fold it in once at least before applying the hemming gum. So that is it for the back piece. Now for the front, we're going to repeat the same thing, but first I'm going to be notching the neckline and then cutting open that 4 inches before turning it to the wrong side. I cut off the corners there as well. So I'm going to iron this down and then use hemming gum to glue it down just like I did the back piece and then the sleeve side of the top as well. So let's start from the top. I measured 12 inches down, which is the one inch below the bust point I'm working with. So I just measured it down like so on both sides. And I'm going to place this black piece that I cut out earlier right in the middle like so. And then I will pin it in place, take it to the machine and sew all four corners. So, after sewing it, the next thing we're going to join the shoulders together. We're going to join both the front and the back pieces together. So, I'm placing them right sides together. And I am going to open one of the facings. It's shaming gum, so after sewing, just put an iron on it and it will go back to gluing. So, I turned it to the other side like so. And then I'm going to go join the shoulders like that. So I open this other part too a little bit. And then I place it. Turn it to that other side. And then go sew 
the shoulders together after which you iron it and it will the glue will activate all over again so next off i am i'll be joining the sides together so i'm creasing the using the iron to crease the center point for the back and the center point for the front So now placing the right sides together, I'm going to make sure both um, center points are sitting on each other. So arrange them properly. After which I will pin. I pin the center point. And then the initial line I used to mark. At the beginning it's still showing here so we're going to follow that same line as so and then we'll mark again on this side remember we left two inches of uh, sewing allowance so i'm marking two inches all on the sides and then on the sleeve we'll make sure you have your sleeve opening there divided by two you can also leave about four inches on the bottom part if you want to have slits on both sides of the top i am not doing that for this one so i'll go sew one side of this um, side seam first of all and i'll be back so after sewing one side of the seam allowance i reduced the seam allowance to about one inch Next off, I'm going to open it like so. This is the right side. I'll iron it. So on this down part, I measured about 2 inches upwards. That is where the pocket is going to sit. If you have slits on yours, your pocket is going to start uh, where the slit stops. So I marked the middle of the pocket, making sure the midpoint is sitting exactly on the seam line. So I placed it like so. Midpoint on the seam line and then 2 inches upwards from the hem of the top. So I'm going to pin it in place. So I'll go sew the sides like so, leaving the top part open, that is where your hand will pass through. So after doing that, for one side, we're going to turn it to the wrong, to the wrong side again. And then sew the other side of the, the other seam on the opposite side. So after sewing, I reduced the seam allowance to on this side to about one inch too. So we're going to attach another pocket on this side. This time around, it's not going to be as easy as the first one. We're going to iron the seams flat. The the side seam here, we're going to iron it flat.
So coming up by two inches like we did before. I'm going to be placing the pocket. I'll mark the middle, fold into two, mark the midpoint, and then place the midpoint exactly on the seam, just like we did the first time, making sure it's two inches from the hemline. You need to be careful while sewing this, it's a little tricky. I think I I sewed this four times and three out of the four times I caught something I was not supposed to catch under. I had to lose and sew again, so please be careful. So after doing that, I'll go ahead and hem the down part and that is it for this top. Thank you for watching. Please like this video, share it with your friends, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I will see you in my next video. Bye!